Time now 419. Every Wednesday on TMJ4, we work with the team at Kenosha.com to interview the Kenoshans of the week. They are members of the Kenosha community doing great things. And this week, we have a special guest who's going above and beyond for her community. 14-year-old Ashley Hours is a volunteer and mentor. She's been working for Job Daughters International, which is a large organization that helps young women develop mentally, socially, and professionally. And within her role, she's been working to raise funds for a nonprofit project called HIKE, which stands for Hearing Improvement Kids Endowment. And her efforts have not gone unnoticed. She has shattered her fundraising goal by over $1,000. And Ashley Hours joins us now live on the News at 4. Ashley, thank you for being with us. A big congratulations to you for being named this Kenoshan of the Week. So we want to start with your participation as the Wisconsin Youth Height Coordinator. Can you tell us a little bit about your role and just the responsibilities that you have at such a young age? So my role is to be able to promote and fundraise nonprofit grant money to families in need of hearing devices or specialty services for their children to be able to hear. Hmm. So how long have you been with Jobs Daughters and how did you get into it? So I've been in Jobs Daughters for four years now and this will be my fifth year here coming in September on the 11th. Hmm. And I started because my mom was a Joby before and we figured might as well just keep that legacy going on legacy going on and you are helping raise funds for the non we're looking at pictures now so you're helping to run uh, raise funds for the nonprofit hearing improvement kids endowment which provides financial help to families who have children in need of hearing aids which is really sweet so you actually went above the goal of five thousand dollars and the fundraiser is still going here so what's your strategy to finding donations like how have you made this work so my strategy is even though some of the things that I couldn't do in person, I was able to create ideas of doing it online. And how have you done that? Like, what are you doing online? What can we see? I've been doing I did a virtual 5K where um, participants were able to run or walk wherever they wanted to and send in their time and where they did it in pictures hmm. and they were able to get a special medal from me t because of what they did for hype. And what has the response been like? I'm curious, have you had people come up to you and maybe thank you for what you're doing? What's the response been like from the community? The response is that um, they are cheerful about what I'm doing and happy that I am doing this because no one would else think someone might not be able to hear or anything else, hmm. but they can actually think of, okay, this, I'm doing something good to the community so that others can be able to hear. And with that being said, what does this mean for you? Where does your passion come from? I know you talked a little bit about your mom, of course, getting into it before you, but like, how does this make you feel? You talked about how people are telling you how they feel. How does that make you feel, what they're saying? This makes me feel happy because I know that whoever gets this grant money for being able to get hearing devices will actually have the better life of being able to hear things around them. Mm. And actually coming up in August, you'll be getting a celebration reception in honor of your fundraising. Was this a surprise for you? How did you find out about this? So I found out about this from my mom and my um, advisor who helps me with this. They both are planning this for me, but more of less it is to celebrate all of my success of being the high youth coordinator. How are you feeling about it? Are you excited? Yes, I really am excited about it. Well, good for you. We're so excited for you. And lastly, before we let you go, what does it mean to you to just have this kind of recognition to be the Kenosha of the week? It means to me that I did something really improving in the community and that no one else might think of 
this as an idea. Yeah, and you are, and we're glad you're getting the recognition that you are. Ashley, in this digital world, where can we follow? Where can we follow you and um, see all of the fundraising and organizations and all that? You can follow me on Facebook by looking for WisconsinHikeYouthCoordinator.com. All right. We appreciate you joining us and we appreciate your time. And of course, again, congratulations on everything. And I'm so excited to see pictures from when they recognize you. All right. Well, again, 14 year old this week's Kenosha of the week. That is Ashley Hours doing amazing things in our community. A big congratulations to you and thank you for joining us on the news at four. And of course, if you would like to read more about Ashley's work and the work of others in the Kenosha community, all you have to do is visit Kenosha.com. You'll also be able to find a story on TMJ 4s very own Adriana Mendez, who grew up in Kenosha and shares her story of how she got to where she is today. And I read it and it's really good.